Hi everyone, today we are going to see how to identify a ureter with the help of ICG in a difficult pelvic surgery. Myself, Dr. Sunil Kumar Tangaraju, Consultant Surgical Oncologist and Laparoscopic Cancer Surgeon at Ganga Hospital, Coimbatore. This is 37 year old female patients presenting to us with a left ovarian endometriotic cyst along with a dermoid cyst which is adherent and with deep pelvic endometriosis. So the first step is to do a cystoscopy and guide a 5 French ureteric catheter into the left ureter. So when there is a 2 marking it indicates we have reached 10 cm. Since the ureter is 20 cm we push it until 20 cm. Now it is 15 cm. When 4 line marking comes it is 20 cm. Now 5 ml of ICG is injected into the left ureter. The ICG comes at a dose of 25 mg powder in a single vial, usually mixed to 5 cc. Since we have to inject it into both the ureters, we mix it and make it 10 cc. So, 5 cc in each ureter. Now you can see the ICG coming out of the left ureter. In a similar fashion, the right ureter is also cannulated and the ureteric catheter is pushed into it up to 20 centimeters. The alternative to this which was used were the illuminated ureteric stents which gets illuminated throughout the surgery. But the problem with the illuminated ureteric stents is that it keeps the ureter taut and prevents it from mobilizing. So now we can see in the ICG mode the ureter which is clearly visible. This will be just at the click of the camera you can see the ureter throughout the surgery. Now the sigmoid adhesions are released. Just in case if the rectum is going to be too much adherent, we would like to mobilize the sigmoid and keep so that we can develop the pararectal spaces. So since the patient is only 37 year old, the plan for this patient is right salphingectomy and left salphingo-ophorectomy along with the diseased ovary and the endometriotic cyst and the dermoid cyst. Now the infundibular pelvic ligament is being mobilized. Since you are going to preserve the uh, uterus, the uterine attachments have to be preserved. The round ligament, the uterosacral ligament to prevent it from prolapsing. You can see the external iliac artery coming into picture. Now we can see the ureter very clearly, the internal iliac artery and the ureter sitting adjacent to each other. And the ureter is mobilized and kept ready just in case if it is adherent to the ovarian cyst, endometriotic cyst. Now the infundibular pelvic ligament is taken down with the help of a Liga shear. And since, it, since we have visualized the ureter completely, we are cutting the lateral attachments of the cyst. Now the fallopian tube and the ovarian ligaments will be taken down to provide better mobility. 
for the left ovarian cyst. That's a ovarian ligament that is being taken down. There is mild tethering of the rectum to the ovarian cyst. The posterior attachments of the rectum to the ovarian cyst are being mobilized. If it is going to be difficult, then the pararectal space will be developed. Now, since we are going close to the ureter, the ICG mode is kept on to see if where the ureter right lies exactly. This helps us to prevent the ureteric injury in difficult cases. Can keep the ICG mode on while you are cutting as well. It was just at a click of a button, you can see the ureter very clear. Now, the cyst is decompressed in a controlled fashion, and the attachments to the posterior wall of the uterus is being taken down. The endometriotic cyst was decompressed, the dermoid was left undisturbed. The specimen was kept in an endo bag and was removed without any spillage. ICG helps in difficult pelvic surgeries in identifying the ureter. Thank you.